Right, so this film has pregnancy scares, Satan worship, and exorcism. Just how much fun was this movie to film? <laughs> wow. What a great Best opening. Best opening <laughs> all day. It does. It has Best a lot more than that, too. What more could you want? Yeah, that's it. It was amazing seeing the movie finally put together, seeing all of that unfold with them, yeah. because I actually didn't have any scenes with them. Yeah. Last night was the first time we were all together in the same room, so which fun. is so yeah. funny. That's so crazy. Um, but yeah. I thought that it was, it, it, their stuff creeped me out. It was such an intense vibe on set, because it is, there are some big, horrific moments, but all of them are also really sad and depressing, totally. too. So as actors, it was a really great uh, yeah. moment to have. Um, have you guys done any horror before? Like, what is it different to film a horror movie than to film a different genre? Boarding school, something about them are creepy, though, because yeah. I filmed at a boarding school in London, uh, outside of London when I was doing a movie when I was, like, 16. And as soon as the sun would go down, like, it all of a sudden took on this, like, impending doom and like it became a character this this boarding school yeah. mm. i don't know what it is about about yeah. boarding schools uh, it's but they're they're creepy they're terrifying yeah, Over here. yeah i would no. say it is different because you're more aware of the audience in a way because when you're filming anything else it's just very much very present and very much kind of the truest thing that you can do whereas with mm. horror i feel like you're more aware of paying attention to how the audience are going to see it, how mm -hmm. they're going to react to it, and how you keeping build it things up. from the audience, yeah, not feel, wanting to yeah, reveal too much. Exactly. In the scene. I feel yeah. like it's also one of those genre. It's a genre that has fans. You know what I mean? It's an right. actual people yeah. are fans of the genre. I mean, everyone likes dramas and comedies and right. stuff like that. But it's a very specific sort of and you hardcore know, fans. hardcore, hardcore, yeah. awesome yes. fans. Yes. I was. Like, yeah. Um, are you guys fans of the genre? Do you have a favorite horror movie that you kind of uphold as? I do George now, George? but before this film, I what is it now? kind of avoided horror films. Rosemary's Baby now, because, yeah, it's such a beautiful classic, and kind of like this, it's much more than just the horrific elements of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And Ruth Gordon and Mia Farrow. And, and it's not people, like, yeah. jumping out. Yeah. For the sake you. of jumping out yeah. and scaring you. Exactly. A lot of good fashion. Yeah. Good hair. Dreamy, yeah. dreamy fashion yeah. on Mia Do you guys have horror movies that you I think The Shining is I mean, all-time yeah, all the the greatest. Yeah. I do. I think that just... I can watch it a million times and find something different and read a different conspiracy theory about it and then yeah. watch it, you know, and yeah. have more fun watching it. It's really it. good. It's you really, should read the book. It's really They've fun. The book? It's, no, I have The book's a little bit different. Like, yeah. the, so the wife true. character is much darker and there's That's like, true. It alludes to the fact that she's kind of clairvoyant, which I like in the book that they didn't really put in the movie. Yeah. Um, but I, I love that movie. And uh, I mean, as far as like recent, I mean, It Follows terrified me. I really like Shutter Island too. That was like one That's of my favorite. such a brilliant it was also oh, one of, yeah, my, another one of my favorite book to movie like adaptations of yeah. horror that I thought was done really well. That one plays with your head mm -hmm. yeah. a yeah. lot. You yeah. Also, really only watch just it. watched Silence of the Lambs for the first <gasps> time. Oh, it's last a big week. moment. Nice. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any advice for young women that kind of either you know want to are first starting out or trying to make it? What what would you tell them? Read as much as you can. Learn as much as you can. Immerse yourself as much as you can. Be the best version of yourself because that's wow. all you have. That's what I would say. That's good advice. I don't know how you follow yeah. that. Yeah, That's... we can both just yeah. I mean that, yeah. stamp on it. <laughs> from the, from the youngest yeah. one here. To, it, seriously, she's one of the smartest <laughs> it's a women opinion. I've met. So I, oh, I yeah, that don't flatter me. Good. <laughs> You're like, don't please. If you were going to be trapped in a creepy boarding school with anybody you wanted, who would it be? Oh, wow. I would want well, a chef and a stand-up comedian oh. and my family and my dog. Well, someone like David Lynch just to make it the full Oh, my God. Wow. That'd be so terrifying. Like, no, yeah, so but it's good if you're there, do it. Go for it. Okay. Uh, I would say just like my... my my four best girlfriends so that we could laugh together. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, you need four people to walk without anyone's back facing the wall. So I feel like that would be good. Wow, yeah, that's, good. that's awesome. <laughs> what your strategy thing about. Yeah, very, very different answers. <laughs> <laughs> we started with David Lynch. Well, Chef David Lynch. Yeah. Go exactly. friends, yeah. Nice. Be, be an interesting place. Thank you guys so much for coming. It was great to have you.